Hello, New Jerusalem. Um, God has requested that um, on the 27th, um, 26th in America, will be the 27th in Israel, that on this blood moon, that all of New Jerusalem is to gather at water's edge. Wherever you're at, just find water's edge on the 27th, on the 26th and the 27th. He said, dress in white to bring your own heart, your own faith, and your own belief in what you know about the New Jerusalem. And to bring it to the water's edge. To wear white in thanksgiving that the authority of the New Jerusalem has been sent to earth. That it is here. Our minds know that we belong to the New Jerusalem according to the Word of God. But God said that our hearts are not gathered at the New Jerusalem. We know authority will be given. And our hearts are gathered when we accept that the authority has been given. So the New Jerusalem, wherever you are, whoever you are, May your feet be found at the water's edge, dressed in heaven's clothing, and not the world. Now, most people do not want to hear this, but I'm going to tell you what God said. God said that Islam is part of the New Jerusalem. That it is only ourselves that we fight amongst each other about him that it's our understanding that causes us to fall short of him he told me that when we love him we magnify his light and that when we fight over him his light does not shine it will not shine in us um he also told me that islam was um the first multitude of daniel he said that this generation, that today, we are the second multitude. And that man has their timeline wrong. That he is going to appear sooner than everybody is expecting. They're expecting that book to lay out from the beginning to end the way that man organized it. Okay, to what we have the Bible now. God said... The last will come first. So therefore, you have to look at the back of the book and come backwards. Seven seals break first. Um, there's a lot of controversy right now about this blood moon. Now, I'm telling you, God said a seal was about to break. He has told me that it's seventh seal. I don't put these out here to make y'all believe anything. I'm only sharing what God shared with me. Now you can either take God in me at his word. Or you can let your eyes of the world and the man see only me that's in front of you. And think, oh, this is just another crazy nut. Why, thank you. I will take that crazy box and add it to my box. Of my crazy God rocks that I shake at this world of a box so all your negative comments and all your negative thoughts I gladly accept them and I put them in my box I put your rock that is too heavy for you to carry that you got to cast it at somebody else well, guess what I got that deposit in my box I'm good. God said I was his witness. That didn't nobody have to believe me. That I stood before God in what he was doing. That I was the flesh on earth. That understood and agreed. New Jerusalem. You know who you are in God alone. Christians and Muslims alike. 
Christians bared the cross of Christ, and Muslims bared their own cross. Now, if you are still willing before God, whether it's with His Son, or whether it's before God, because you can choose. You can choose God, or you can choose His Son. Now, we're the people of His Son as Christians, so therefore, we automatically choose Christ. But most of you Christians are failing before God because you stay kneeled at that cross and you do not get up and get back from the creation which was flesh hung on that cross back to the creator who authorized that flesh for you to love as your savior. Now, to God, we can work our whole life in Christ. And when it comes time for that judgment, there is a possibility because you hung a girl in the Christ so hard that you're going to miss seeing God. He has shown me people that's going to go through the holy war that's going to be in the kingdom of Christ for a thousand years and when it comes time for the king to judge you might not get to see God's face only those who bear their own cross go straight to God Some call it paradise, some call it rapture. Well, God's calling it the first fruit harvest. He said rapture was never part of his word, that that was man. The New Jerusalem is the first fruit harvest. The New Jerusalem will be the 22 million that God said that mankind would not see him in it. They would only see a natural disaster. When it hits America and Mississippi is split with a new sea, the seal is broken. God said the blood moon was the beginning of an era. I'm not telling you supernatural disaster is going to happen right when, right after, or I don't know the time, only God does. I only know what to expect with my breath. New Jerusalem, gather at Water's Edge, July the 27th, in white for Thanksgiving that God has authorized. Bring your heart, your faith your understanding and the Word of God and who you are. Come before God and God alone. Give Him thanks for everything He's given you to love, all the struggles you've had in your life. How could you know the love of God or be wiser without the struggle and the suffering? Here's to 13 days left to the breaking of a seal before God let your kingdom come let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven 